Hey guys, so welcome back to another RestoreMySneakers.com video. In this episode, I'll be talking about midsole swapping and sole swapping. What is midsole swapping? Midsole swapping is a restoration technique that involves replacing a damaged midsole that's crumbled or cracked with a new one or one that's in better condition in order to make the shoe wearable again. What is sole swap? Sole swap is another restoration technique that involves replacing a worn out sole with a new one or one that's in better condition. Some of you out there may be wondering why would someone go through all the trouble just to do this when they can just go out and buy a brand new pair of shoes. For instance, the 1999 Air Jordan 4 Retro in the white cement gray colorway. This particular colorway has yet to come back out and if it does it will come back out with modifications such as the Nike Air will be replaced with the Jumpman, the leather won't be the same, the netting won't be the same, and possibly even the cushioning. Now some of you may be wondering don't I need the same exact shoes to do a midsole swap? Not necessarily. There's a lot of sneakers out there that are using the same Air Jordan 4 midsole type and such as an actual retro Air Jordan 4, the Nike Flight 89, the Nike Flight Condor, and the Nike Dub Zero, uh, the Air Jordan Dub Zero. The only reason why we need to use the newer midsole from the current retros is to make the shoe wearable again, which is the ultimate goal of this restoration. Now some of you might be saying, well, now the shoe is not original, but that wasn't the point. The point is to make the shoe wearable again. And of course, if they do bring these back out, you won't have the Nike Air. And some people out there want to be able to rock this shoe with the Nike Air in the back. And this is the only way. So why did the Air Jordan 4 midsoles crack in the first place? There's two reasons. First one being age. These shoes weren't meant to last forever. You buy them, you wear them, you replace them. That's literally the lifespan of a sneaker. Second, storage. A lot of these shoes were stored with silica packs to prevent the shoe from yellowing. However, what happened was that silica pack ended up drying out the midsole. So when it came time to finally wear these shoes, they crumbled. The next thing I want to talk about is sole swapping. And an example that I'm going to use is the Air Jordan 11. Now there has been a couple of people who have asked, what can I do about the heel drag? problem on the soles. Well, there really is there really isn't anything that you can do to patch that problem. But what you can do is replace the sole. Now the next thing is the yellowing. There are some instances where Seaglow is not able to get to not able to remove the yellowing from the soles. And usually that's because Seaglow was used in the past or the yellowing is just really bad. Now, that just leaves you with the option of replacing the soles. Now, you might be wondering, do I need the same exact shoe from the same exact year? Not necessarily. And a suitable donor would be the 2007 retro of the Air Jordan 11 Low, which uses a very similar color scheme for the traction, pad, the traction pods, but with the difference of the Jumpmans. Now the purpose of this video was to introduce our future restoration project and that involves the Air Jordan 4 Retro which we'll have completed sometime later this year. So there you have it, that's midsole and sole swapping in a nutshell. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode.